The Tasmanian tiger was hunted to extinction, but scientists say it might have died out anyway. DNA testing on specimens up to 160 years old show the species grew susceptible to disease because of inbreeding. It's a tale of 12 tigers, and international research teams combed museums worldwide for thylacine specimens. They found a dozen that were suitable for DNA testing, and the results confirmed a theory. The sequence identity was so similar in, in all of the animals, it tells us that they were very, very limited. That means Tasmanian tigers had reached a point where they were inbreeding. Animals in island populations tend to have limited genetic diversity. Settlers wiped out the thylacine in Tasmania. The last one in captivity died in 1936. But the DNA study showed persecution and collecting by museums and zoos were not the only threat to its future. There is some um, evidence that there was a disease that went through the thylacine population. Disease is currently decimating Tasmanian devil numbers. It also has a shallow gene pool. The more limited the genetic diversity, the more susceptible animals are to environmental change. We may even see an emergence of uh, contagious cancers or transmissible cancers uh, in other wildlife species. And it's not just species in Tasmania they're concerned about. Such as koalas in southern Australia and some of the island populations of rock wallabies. The new evidence doesn't confirm whether the thylacine would have succumbed to disease before being hunted to extinction. That debate's still going. Emily Woodgate, ABC News.